guys, it's Sarah and <coughs> shit. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sarah and I'm here to tell you the latest news that's been happening in the past week. More like the latest bullshit. Okay, so some pictures leaked of One Direction on the New Year's Rocking Eve thing. And this was all pre-recorded, so we're actually gonna get the real thing on New Year's Eve, which is today. It's like of Louie and Harry looking at each other, and this is so wonderful. Okay guys, Brianna's due date, Danielle's birthday, and Harry's birthday are all within the same week. Danielle's birthday is January 30th, and Harry's birthday is February 1st. So Zayn better not drop a surprise album on us, because that would be too much in one week. Okay, now here's what everybody's been talking about for like the past like week. Harry goes and writes a song called Already Home, which echoes Louis' song Home. And he writes a song called 5,378 Miles, which could be the approximate distance between England and LA. And we all know Harry's always in LA, and his real home is in England. So basically, he has licensed these songs to ASC. AP, and people are thinking that 5,378 miles is the approximate distance from like Holmes Chapel to LA. It says Harry wrote the songs Endlessly, Coco, Already Home, and 5,378 miles. It says the four songs have been licensed to Harry, but this does not mean that they will be released, only that they have been written and possibly recorded solo, but not as a band. So there's been so many theories of this, like this one, this one, this one. I mean, some people say that Harry and Louie just miss home a lot because they're always on tour. Maybe that's why they write about home a lot. But other people are like, well, Louie's in England and Harry's always in LA. So Harry's... 5,378 miles away from Louie. But I really want to hear these songs. Louie and Harry were featured on an MTV condom advertisement. <laughs> to be honest, this was life. I mean, this is more of a reason to use a condom now. I mean, MTV knows where it's at. And what killed me is that Harry got an eagle tattoo. And everyone knows this, especially if you're an American citizen, but an eagle represents freedom. That's our country's symbol. <laughs> and not only that, but it was on his Things I Can arm. And look, on Harry's Things I Can't Arm, he got that Things I Can't covered with a Bible. And on his Things I Can Arm, he got the Things I Can covered with an eagle. So he's basically saying, you know, the things I can't do is like listen to like what people say and like, like what they want me to do. But he's saying things I can and it's be free. So I hope to see some huge, 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 huge <laughs> improvement for 2016. And guys, remember this? If you could have anything in the world, what would you want that to be? And Harry says, freedom. <laughs> But guys, I just find it funny, Louis recently just got a tattoo and now Harry gets a tattoo. Like, they always do this. Like, if Louis gets one, Harry gets one, and if Harry gets one, Louis gets one. Coincidence? I think not. So Harry's basically saying that he can no longer be restricted, but he can be free. And my theory is that I don't think Harry's Things I Can and Things I Can't tattoos were ever meant to be permanent. I think he got them to be covered up one day. Like, Harry's like, okay, I'll, I'll get these, but one day, when everything's fine again, I will be covering them up with things to let people know what's happening, which I think is so beautiful. <laughs> and this got so big that Things I Can was trending worldwide on Twitter for a long time. And now, here's where I'm really confused. If Harry just got this tattoo symbolizing freedom, and I hope no one's saying, oh, like, oh, Harry only got this tattoo because he loves America. Leave. Please leave. <laughs> but no, like, what I'm confused about is if Harry just got this tattoo symbolizing freedom, why are we seeing all this crap with, like, Harry and Kendall now? Like, I don't know if you guys just entered this fandom or not, but if you've been here since 2013, like, towards the end of 2013, Harry and Kendall Jenner have had this, like, huge stunt. It's kind of like the whole Haler thing again, like Haler was the end of 2012, and by the way, that lasted from December to February, so just a couple months, and it, the same thing happened again. December 2013 lasted until February. I see a trend. <laughs> Harry always gets these winter girlfriends, and then they only last a couple months. I just don't understand why Harry is using Kendall again, like why are they using the same girl that he's in 2013? It's been two years. There's been articles about Harry and Kendall m being together, like they, like, I think they went to like a restaurant or something and they were sitting next to each other and at first when I saw these pictures I was like all right you know can't two friends just go out to dinner together because what I was thinking is like okay maybe if Harry and Kendall were together maybe they broke up and they're still friends you know it happens so like maybe they're just hanging out again maybe Harry's hanging out with friends of Kendall's and she just happened to be there but then <laughs> I was out all day and everyone on Twitter is like telling me Sarah oh my gosh I'm so mad at Harry like blah 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 and all this Kendall stuff and I'm like wait what is happening I go on tumblr because that's where I find everything and these pictures of like Kendall on top of Harry they're like at this beach or like some water resort thing and like they're on like this beach chair and Kendall's fat ass is on top of Harry now in some of these pictures Harry looks very awkward like I, I hate always saying this about like Louie and Harry with girls but 
it's so true. I cannot even look at it and say that it's not awkward. Like Harry's face is like in the cushion. His arm is like awkwardly like choke holding her. It's kind of like how Louis is with girls too. It just looks like it's forced. Like I can't see Harry enjoying an intimate moment with this woman. And plus, okay, even if they were romantically together, I don't understand how this is happening. Like why would they be together in 2013 and now years later come back together and be a thing? Like none of this is making sense. Like this is so out of random like aren't relationships supposed to be gradual like isn't it supposed to be a thing like if you like somebody you're supposed to be just hanging out with them blah 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 but how did this whole Hendel thing resort to her on top of him like that just really doesn't happen usually when you like someone you you know like you go out to dinner you walk around like you do things like you don't just automatically have pictures of somebody on top of somebody like Harry's not like that. He's not the type to like, like a girl and then suddenly she's on top of him. Like a relationship wouldn't move that fast. So am I making sense? I'm not sure I know how to describe this in words. I can't, only in emotion. And usually my emotion would just be to stare at the screen and ponder. So I don't really know how to explain this to you guys. I don't know if this is making sense. But all I know is that articles are saying that they're vacationing together. To me, when I think about it, it just seems like a repeat of history. Like Harry and Kendall went skiing in 2013 as like a vacation and now they're at like a beach as a vacation. Meanwhile, Louis is going from Brianna to Danielle. Like this doesn't make sense that like, Louis and Harry are having two stunts at the same time. I think that the media knew that nobody would believe Haler. Like they knew that that didn't work with the fans. So they're like, mm, well, maybe more people believed in Hendel. So we'll like, we'll put the Hendel bullshit back into the media. Like we're bringing back 2013 shit. Like I can't say that this whole Harry and Kendall thing is 100% fake because I'm not sure a stunt would go as far as having a woman be on top of Harry. Like I can understand, like if you look at Louis' stunts, all they ask him to do is just walk around with a girl, hold hands, maybe put his arms awkwardly around her. That makes sense. But I don't think a stunt would ever go as far as asking Harry to let a woman on top of him like under this blanket or like some shit. Basically the photos were all kind of low quality. It looked like the person was taking a picture from a bad angle. So maybe it was just a bad angle. Like maybe they were doing something but it wasn't what it looked like it was. I don't know. This isn't making any sense. But guys, even though this is really bad right now, just think about it. This stuff happens every December before every New Year's Day or on every New Year's Eve, we always get stunts. It's been happening since 2012 and now it's 2015. So even though we're like in a really confusing time right now and we just want it to end, I guarantee you, I'm no genie, but I really think that all this is going to die down in February, if not maybe January. This stuff is not going to last. Not to bash Kardashians, but everyone does anyways. Who gives a fuck? Do you think Harry's standards are so low to go after a Jenner or a Kardashian? Just any of those girls. I don't think Harry is romantically interested in Kendall. Maybe Kendall is the most sane one out of all the girls, so maybe that's why Harry can stand her. I don't know, but I can't even see Harry wanting to hang out with like Chloe, Kylie, or Kim. But guys, don't let this stunt make you like not ship Larry anymore or like leave the fandom or like anything. Because I've said this before in a video, I think Harry is really starting to explore his sexuality. Like I know he's 21, you might think like, oh, shouldn't he have done that a long time ago? No, people explore their sexualities like at different ages. I think Harry might be confused or maybe he does know what he wants. I just don't think he likes Kendall in that way. I just think Harry is trying to explore himself just like Louis is trying to explore themselves. My theory is that Louis and Harry could have maybe taken a break and then they're trying to try other people or maybe they just broke up in general or I don't know what's happening. I don't know. We're not going to find out until Louis and Harry actually tell us. But what I always say, think of the positive stuff. Think about Harry getting that eagle tattoo. Think about Harry writing all these songs. Think about the tattoos that Louis has gotten. Think about all the old moments that Louis and Harry have shared because you guys have to think about like what made you believe in Larry in the first place? And whatever that answer is, you have to keep believing in that. You shouldn't let this rubbish, these stunts, and this bullshit, and the articles ruin what Larry is to you. Go watch Larry videos, go read fan fiction, and everything will be okay. That's what I'm gonna do. You know what I say? Maybe just take a break from Tumblr for a few days. I know it's hard, but maybe that's just what we have to do. Because you can't let this ruin your health. <laughs> So guys, please leave all your thoughts and feelings down below. We can have a huge chat. And like always, I make videos once a week, so like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!